Welcome everyone to another episode of Ever Wonder TV, the place where all your wondering thoughts get answered. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and remember to hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. In today's video, we are going to take a look at what would happen if we lost electricity worldwide. Are you ready? Let's get started. Do you find the darkness haunting? Have you ever seen a great game in the fridge? All the comforts of modern life can be tucked into your pocket or with the push of a button, you'll wonder what would happen if the Earth was off. Can you communicate with the rest of the world? How much does it cost to restore power? Will there be total anarchy? In 2019, a large-scale blackout paralyzed Venezuela and plunged the South American country into chaos. Gangs of armed motorcyclists wandered the streets monitoring citizens with guns. Hospitals were powered off and the looted supermarket was empty. But what if everyone loses power worldwide? Will our global infrastructure also collapse? The U.S. Energy Information Administration estimates that in 2015, humans consumed approximately 577.5 million BTUs of energy. There are approximately 7.3 billion people on the planet, which is enough for each of us to have 78 million BTUs. Therefore, if a geomagnetic storm hits our planet, there is no doubt that social norms will suffer enormous turbulence. This incident is called Dark Sky Hazard, and it will destroy all of our communication networks. A storm caused by coronal material ejected by the sun will drive electromagnetic energy on the planet at the speed of light. Excited particles in the upper atmosphere can interfere with radio signals used by satellites. You will not be able to contact family and friends who live further away. Your phone may be fully charged, but if there's no active network, it can basically just hold a paperweight. So at first, you might not even realize that the interrupt is global. You can even enjoy the first night because there will be no electronic interference and you can see the night sky clearly. But there will be a price. 30 minutes after the initial impact, a wave of electrons and protons will follow, damaging the satellite's electronic circuits. This lethal radiation dose may also threaten astronauts in orbit or passengers flying at high altitudes. Many of our satellites require space operators on Earth to control their course. If no one is at the helm, the satellites may crash into space debris or collide with each other. At the same time, on the planet, hospitals may face the catastrophic effects of power outages. The energy flow generated by geomagnetic storms may induce power lines, thereby disrupting the operation of the power grid. This huge wave may destroy transformers all over the world. The best backup generators can only provide about 24 hours of electricity. Therefore, intensive care units around the world will suffer huge losses. The fans will not work. Medical staff will have to use manual devices, such as rubber lungs, to maintain the lives of patients. People who need dialysis will not receive dialysis, and doctors will have to make difficult decisions about people's lives. Power plants all over the world will fail. Whether it is powered by coal, natural gas, or nuclear fission, it may take days or even weeks to restore them to full capacity. The cooling system of the nuclear reactor will fail, and all nuclear meltdown will occur. It may take several weeks to restore Europe's huge interconnected power grid, which supplies power to more than 24 countries and 400 million customers. And these do not include dollar costs, assuming that we will still use money once the power is restored. When 2 million customers in California lost power for two days, the U.S. Department of Energy estimated that this caused approximately $2.5 billion in losses to the economy. According to data from the U.S. Department of Energy, 33% of U.S. companies may lose between $20,000 and $500,000. The bank is closed and you will not be able to use the cash in your account. Hope you left some cash in the piggy bank. But the stock of products in the store is limited. If there is no electronic cash register and payment system, things will get ugly quickly. The crowd may become restless and forcibly take away these needs if it means their families can survive. So, in the chaos of the street, can you drive into the forest? Well, unless your car has a full tank of gas, it won't go very far. The air pump will not work, the traffic lights do not work, and the road can turn into a demolition derby. But it's not just that your car is in danger. Thousands of people will be trapped underground in the subway. 
If it is flying, the airport will have 24 hours for the aircraft to land before the backup generator is turned off. The global transportation industry will be paralyzed, unable to deliver necessary supplies. And depending on where you live, you should worry about more than insufficient supply. The service was suddenly interrupted. The emergency services could not answer his call. The people trapped in the elevator could not call for help. If there is no oven for heating, people in cold areas will have to rely on burning wood or huddle together for heating. If there is no power supply, the water tower pump will not work. Many regions will suffer devastating water shortages. You must be careful to save water because the amount of water available for distribution in the tank is limited. Every glass of water will deplete our supply. The power sewer system cannot remove waste, so every discharge may cause serious damage to the pipeline. This may cause the debris accumulated in your home to overflow. This is not all. The next day, the perishable food in your refrigerator begins to expire. If there were no garbage collectors, these rotten items would pile up on the streets. Since many of our services rely on electricity, geomagnetic storms will not make us bored without social media. It may make us feel sick, hungry and hopeless. Although this event may be unthinkable to you, according to the World Bank, one billion people live without electricity. To make matters worse, hundreds of millions of people depend on expensive or unreliable electricity. To solve this problem, some experts are working hard to develop artificial intelligence that can predict power outages. There is still a lot of research to be done on how to make renewable energy more reliable for mass consumption. But maybe you are tired of living in this modern nightmare and want to be completely off the grid. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content in the future. Also hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first to watch our latest videos. See you again real soon and thanks for watching.